night. It was one of the year's most mysterious murder trials. Travis Vader found guilty in the deaths of an elderly couple. But the verdict was shocking for a whole different reason. And today it forced the judge to scale back that conviction. Briar Stewart explains. Mistakes happen. A truism even in court. But in this case, the error was made during a high-profile murder trial in front of a television camera. A homicide is murder. Section 230 of the Criminal Code. When Justice Denny Thomas handed down his decision last month, he used a specific section of the Criminal Code to find Travis Vader guilty of second-degree murder. The problem is that section was declared unconstitutional by the Supreme Court more than 25 years ago. So today, the justice admitted his error and instead found Vader guilty of the lesser charge of manslaughter for the deaths of Lyle and Marie McCann. The elderly couple was last seen filling up their RV in 2010. Their remains have never been found. Like my family is relieved by the decision today and uh, we're comfortable that justice is being served. The McCann family is relieved because the defense was pushing for a mistrial. Instead, the family is getting ready to face Vader once again, this time for sentencing. Like where are the bodies of my parents? This is the critical factor now and, and I hope to carry the, that message through on sentencing. Unlike second degree murder, manslaughter doesn't carry a mandatory life sentence. The punishment can vary widely. A sentencing hearing is scheduled for December, but even then, that may not be the end of the road for this case. Uh, it's our view that Justice Thomas uh, did not have the authority to do this. And uh, this is a matter which is gonna have to be sorted out by a higher court down the road. I would be surprised if there weren't an appeal. Stephen Penny says the justice is allowed to substitute one conviction for another, but says the defense may argue he could appear biased when it comes to sentencing. There might be a reasonable perception that we're going to get too harsh of a sentence because you have a judge who initially had convicted for murder now recognizing that error and substituting uh, a lesser conviction. Penny doesn't think the argument is likely to succeed, but if it did, it would be another twist in a tragic case that's already dragged on for years. Briar Stewart, CBC News, Edmonton.